of the free and the home of the What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a very patriotic book that just got uh, reprinted. Uh, we are looking at Captain America, The Return of the Winter Soldier. He's back in my heart. And, uh, you know, a pretty exciting omnibus. If you've been collecting the uh, Ed Brubaker uh, Captain America stories, you know, you have Death of Captain America, the, the Captain America Lives, The Trial of Captain America. Uh, you know, you would be complete without the return of the Winter Soldier, since, you know, it does play into that as well. Um, and uh, let's take a look at this. So this is the standard front, spine, and the back. Mine is, it's damaged. Both of these are damaged, so it doesn't stand up straight. Oh, this one stand up straight. Okay, cool. And then this is the DM, front, spine, and the back. Very cool. Now, personally, from these two, my pick is going to be the DM. It's called The Return of the Winter Soldier. So show me some Winter Soldiers. Now, I, I love Cap. This, don't get me wrong. Captain America is cool. I know his name is on the title, but the Winter Soldier looks really good in this one. I think this one is definitely the better cover. Uh, you know, the DM. So you're going to get it. Hopefully, you got the DM. If you got the standard, that's cool too. Listen, more power to you. I'm all about you being able to choose what you want. I'm just telling you, I like this one better. Oh, yeah. All right, let's take a look underneath. So you just get the shield like that on a black background mat. Ooh, the spine and the back. Very cool. And, you know, uh, Winter Soldier, of course, Bucky Barnes, you know, has a lot of history with Captain America. Let's jump in and see what entails in that history. Look who's back, uh, uh, back again, uh, uh, it's Bucky, uh, uh, tell a friend, but not Captain America or he might be traumatized forever. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and, you know, okay, quality of this, of course, is omni-standard that you're used to. Kind of thin, feels like it, semi-gloss, colors look good, darks look rich, like it. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this story. Ed Brubaker ends his award-winning run on Captain America. Steve Rogers is back wielding the shield in the wake of fear itself, and the world again believes James Bucky Barnes is dead. With few uh, know knowing the truth, Bucky retakes his former guise as an assassin, this time as a force for good. Working in the shadows alongside his lover, the Black Widow, he now fights for redemption as the Winter Soldier. But as ghosts from his past continue to haunt him, he may be forced to sacrifice everything all over again. Meanwhile, Captain America's world is threatened by Hydra and its toxic message of fear. The identity of the new Scourge will be sh a shock to his system, and Hydra's mad bombs could destroy everything Cap holds dear. It's the end of an era for Cap and Bucky in a volume that takes you all the way from the glorious wartime past to the deadly threats that place their future in the balance. Oh, look at this spread. This looks real nice. Oh, I like that. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, let me also tell you... Uh, let me take a long... A little bit about... Uh, let me see... Um, he's the writer who, who brought Bucky back from the dead and killed Steve Rogers. He showed James Barnes was no mere wartime sidekick and revealed the character's secret history as Soviet assassin the Winter Soldier. He handed Bucky the shield of Captain America and let him keep it even after Steve was reborn. Uh, but now, following the events of fear itself, Bucky has been slain and Steve is back in red, white, and blue. And scribe Ed Brubaker brings his incredible time with Captain America to a close, has one more twist up his sleeve. Just as Steve prepares to say goodbye to his oldest friend once again, the, tr the truth is revealed. Bucky survived, but the world can never know. He must work in the shadows to get his life back, taking on the guise of the Winter Soldier to redeem the sins he committed in that name. With his lover, the Black Widow, at his side, Bucky confronts the ghost of his past, beginning with the three missing sleeper agents of he himself trained. But as their first mission spirals out of control, the Winter Soldier and the Widow come face to face with Doctor Doom in a bid to prevent all-out war. The worst is yet to come when one of the sleepers starts to take what little Bucky has left and what he cares for most of all. 
When the Black Widow is turned against him, Hawkeye, Wolverine, Daredevil, and Captain America are drawn into the rescue effort. But will any of them be on Bucky's side to save the life of the woman he loves? The Winter Soldier may have to do the unthinkable. Meanwhile, Cap has his own troubles as the new Queen Hydra continues her campaign of terror. A new scourge is taking out ex-supervillains in witness protection, and one of Steve's closest allies is caught in the crossfires. But when the man behind the killer's death mask stands revealed, Cap will be rocked to his core. And when Hydra's threat escalates, America itself comes under attack from a group of superhumans named the Discordians. Uh, <laughs> Discordians. As fear spreads, an influential television pundit puts the blame squarely upon the nation's heroes. How can Cap prevent a new world order when his enemies include the American people? Plus, get a peek behind Bucky's domino mask uh, during World War II and a look back at the formation of one of history's greatest double acts. Watch how an orphan army Brad became America's secret weapon and battled to prove himself alongside Captain America and the superpowered invaders. And enjoy a modern day exploration of the legacy of the men who took on the roles of Captain and Bucky when the originals were thought lost forever. After eight years and more than 100 issues, the Ed Brubaker era of Captain America reaches its action-packed conclusion. That's very cool. So you're going to get a lot of um, references to the past, or, you know, to his run in the other books, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot of dark-themed action like this. If you saw that, he liked Ed Brubaker does crime really well, so he uses the shadows a lot in his uh, writing and I, I like it I'm here for it um, okay let me see if there's any extras included in this one uh, okay goodbye some of the covers here let's see nice Ooh, very cool Lee Bermejo, nice. Oh, that one's very, very cool. I like that a lot. Nice art, some of the, the pencil drawings there. All right, there you go. So a little bit of, of extras on there. But, uh, you know, like you said, if you've been wanting to, to finish your collection of Ed Brubaker's run with Captain America, you can finally get it now. Check it out at Gonna Price Books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.